Alright, we're gonna be doing uh, front rollers, brake pads on a 2015 Explorer. So, let's jack it up from right there, the frame. And now we're gonna go ahead and take the tire off. It's a size 19 socket. All right, so we gotta take the bracket off first. Size 17. So you get a hammer. You hit it like this. I'll say you break the tension on these. Same thing at the bottom. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Using a electric wrench. Stuck in there, get like a flat screwdriver and push it out. There we go. Alright, so, um, um, this is something you need to know. There's a lot of pressure on the caliper, so get a flat screwdriver, put it in there like this, and then push the caliper back a little bit. Or as far as you can. If you're using, you know, if you're replacing the rotors, you're okay. Um, it's okay if you scratch up the rotors because you're putting new ones. I'm gonna go as far as I can. Get out there. All right, and this rotor, it just comes off. That's it. All right, and you always want to compare the diameter with the new one. So. You just gotta line up your holes and get one in. Uh, make sure your rotor is all the way in, otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time getting this in. Electric ratchet. You only go halfway and then go to the next to one on top. The one on top, uh, going, you know, put it all the way in. Uh, and then you want to make sure this is like super tight. So, what I like to do, I like to hit with the hammer. All right, and um, you can put some grease top, the bottom. So it looks like a it looks like a hardware is missing from the top. Um, but you put grease on this like this. Well, I like to use grease so because you can have metal on metal, 
and with all that heat it's gonna stick on it so i use grease uh, excessively so you won't hear you know you won't get no noises because sometimes we use you know brand new uh rotors and brakes pet brake pads you're gonna have like noise and this kind of like helps it avoid it all right yeah i don't know what happened to our hardware on top um okay and then all right so this is a tool that i use push the caliper back you want to get like the brake pad and then This is a double piston, so all right. Now we're ready to put it back in there. All right, so now. got to point something out too um so these you put some grease in them like this and then you can go ahead and uh, put them back in here same thing with the other one Get some grease right here the other one there Of that, of that is because if you put one all the way in you can have, have tr uh, trouble putting the other one on this side it won't be lined up right okay and we're gonna do the same thing put it in there with you. I'm gonna do like a quarter of a turn and you'll make sure it's super tight all right and that's how you do uh brake pads and rotors now we're gonna put our tire back on and show you the last step. All right, the last step. We push the brake pedal down, all the way down 10 times. Go. One, two, and already cut pressure. All right, um, that's how you do brake pads and rollers on the Explorer 2015. So, uh, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, please uh, support us by liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, uh, if you have any questions, then I'll try to help you out. Just comment, and then I'll try to get back to you.